Okay, hello guys and girls, welcome back to uh, Trailer Fitters Tool Review. We have the fly, our project Corsa C on the ramp at work. And this is where I work in an HGV maintenance workshop. Okay, so we do have a four poster ramp. Sometimes it's free, so I'll take advantage of this to do jobs. You know, the odd half an hour or the odd hour after work. And this is just getting things prepared for when I do jobs at home. Okay, so it's easier on the ramp to get an exhaust um, bracket or remove an exhaust pipe. And I'm having problems with a certain uh, area of this exhaust, which is the nuts here, because they are uh, rounded off, basically. Uh, they're a bit small. I've got a 13mm socket. I think that is about 12. Now, some people will hammer a socket onto those, which is not good, because you can end up splitting a socket. So, there is a, an alternative, which is a uh, bolt removal tool, and uh, it's uh, for rounded nuts and what have you. And uh, what I've done here was remove the three, and that was done very easily, successfully, with this tool. And uh, yeah, basically you can see those with no problem. What it is with these tools, they bite in. You can only use them one way, which is to undo. They have teeth, they bite in. The harder you pull, the harder they bite. And these, after using them for a couple of days, actually, they haven't uh, failed me. Uh, well, one did, but I'll tell you about that in a, in a little while in this video. So yeah, I've gone ahead, got the uh, nuts off, the studs are good, so uh, cleaned them, copper thread them, and then bolted them back up so I can get that off when I need to, rather than struggle at home on the drive when it's raining or something like that, okay? Now, yeah, let's talk about wheel nuts, shall we, or locking up wheel studs. This Vauxhall comes with a uh, four locking uh, security wheel studs and I didn't have the key for it unfortunately I did a job on here left it on the vehicle went uh, spinning off to work and that flew off somewhere unfortunately very irresponsible but I had to remove the wheel studs so I can uh, at least put uh, normal straight ones in so here are four of them that have been removed that's one from each corner yeah and uh, yeah they were a little bit of a grief this one was the worst one now uh, yeah this caused us the biggest trouble even though it was talked up to 120 newton meters we had a uh, issues with it i snapped one of these now this is not a reflection on the tool it's a reflection on me being a bit of an animal because even though it's a monkey metal i had to try and get it fitted onto this head here which i did and split the socket yeah so it's not advisable to hammer them on like this but when you are up against time you will try anything to do the job now this is actually the rear one okay and that came off quite well as you can see that cracked it off with that size i have broken these in the past you can see these two are brand new this is my irwin set whereas these are a reflection and a copy of which they work just as well Okay, the, the quality of the tool will be reflected in the price. They won't last as long for a professional, but they'll be okay for a DIY. They'll last a lot longer because they won't be used as much, will they? But they're there when you need them to, yeah? Now, the one we had trouble with, this was real trouble, real trouble. It wouldn't come off at all. The more we tried, the worse it seemed to get. Now, my young apprentice, Harry, he had the idea of welding a nut onto the uh, the head of the stud and then winding the nut off or at least getting some purchase on it so he's gone ahead and filled the nut up with welds as you can see here the battery is disconnected and the alternator is disconnected as well the welding heat is okay for the wheels um the wheels are, are pretty shoddy anyway we wouldn't do these on brand new wheels but this is uh, an option you can see there it didn't even grip his welding is good, but the metal is not exactly the right type to be welding. So what we have is the master of the workshop who knows all the little techniques. He used a punch chisel, loosened it off just like that. Well, we did all the hard work. He just came along and got all the glory, but we actually managed to get all four of them out. As you can see how bad that was, chewed two pieces and wouldn't come off. So there is a limit to what you can do with your tools. You also need skills as well, the knowledge, and of course the backup of people who are willing to help you. 
So, of course, I didn't go home with three wheel nuts on each wheel. I actually had some spares, and uh, that's put in, and that's okay. So, this tool here, yes, it grips. It does the job that it says it will, but you will only rely on it to the point where if it will move something, it will move it. Like I say, I've broken two of these uh, out of desperation more than anything, but they've been replaced, and I will get a warranty on this one, so that's all good. That is all good. So, yeah, good for a DIYer, and actually good for a professional when you're in trouble and you need a little bit extra help. What I've noticed about these uh, Blue Spot tools, they are actually very, very thoughtful. Now, usually you get something like a uh, bolt or a nut head stuck in it, and you have a little bar here which you use for removing. Okay, now I'll just put that in and give it a little bit of a whack. I'll move the camera around so you can see it, and then boom, that's out. That's what that rod is for in the kit, so it's all good. So, go out, buy yourself one. Why not? If I can do this with this sort of thing, just imagine what you can do.